Hi everyone, I am Selva Arun and welcome back to my ServiceNow Discovery series uh, on the Nav Divas channel. So this is the part two where, where I will walk you through everything you need to prepare before actually setting up Discovery. So if you haven't seen the part one yet, so be sure to check out the intro. I have linked it in the description. So before you even start working with the discovery module, it's important to know exactly what you want to achieve. So ask yourself, what do I want to discover? Is it servers, network devices, the cloud resources or something else? Which environment am I targeting? The production, development or test? And what's the business goal for example do you want to populate your cmdb improve compliance or automate process having clear objective objectives will help you plan the rest of your setup so now let's talk about your network identify all the network segments or subnets you want to scan Make sure the necessary firewall ports are open between your med servers and the devices you want to discover. This could include ports for SSH, WMI, SNMP, and so on. Also, check that your med server can actually reach all the target IP ranges. If there are routing issues, discovery won't work. Before you move on, it's crucial to make sure that the right network ports are open between your med server and the devices you want to discover. Here are the most common ports you will need. TCP 22 SSH for Linux, the Unix devices, TCP 135, TCP 5985, UDP 161 and UDP 162, TCP 3389 for the RDP, TCP 8443 and TCP 2123, TCP 1433 for the Oracle database or the SQL server. So tip only open the ports you actually need and always follow your organization's security policies. After opening the port, test the connectivity from the mid server to the target devices using the tools like Telnet, Pink, or PowerShell. Now let's talk about the mid server preparation. Mid server is the bridge between the service now and your infrastructure. Download and install the mid server. It's generally recommended to install the mid server on a Windows machine as it can scan both Windows and Linux devices. While a Linux mid server can only scan Linux devices, a Windows mid server offers more versatility. Place your mid server closer to the devices it will scan ideally one per major data center or network segment make sure the mid server service account has the right permissions on the host machine it's also a good practice to install multiple mid servers for load balancing and to avoid relying slow solely on failover configurations and do not forget to register and validate your mid server in service now. So discovery needs a credentials to log in into your devices. Prepare credentials for all device types, Windows, Linux, network devices, VMware, and so on. Use accounts with the minimum permissions needed for discovery. And these credentials securely in ServiceNow cred Discovery Credentials table. Optionally, you can plan for credential affinity, which helps speed up the future scans by remembering which credential worked for which device. Let's talk about the documentation and stakeholder communication. Document all your IP ranges, 
credentials and configurations. Notify your network, security and server teams about upcoming scans so they are not surprised and can help if needed. And let's talk about the compliance and security. Store and handle credentials securely. Make sure discovery activities are logged for auditing and follow your organization's change management process if required. And here is the quick summary of what you need before setting up discovery network access. The third mid server installed and validated credentials ready. ServiceNow instance prepped, proper permissions, target devices configured, documentation and communication, security and compliance checks. So that's it for the prerequisites. In the next video, I will show you how to actually set up discovery step by step. And if you found this helpful, please like, share, subscribe and drop any questions in the comments below. See you in the part three. Thank you.